The idea for the peppers came six years ago as a fundraiser for our son Carson. We were trying to raise money for him to go on a trip to Washington DC and to New York and we had, I had Bob make the peppers and we sold them for a minimum contribution of $10 a jar. It started so well that we kept getting repeat orders, so we thought, well, maybe we have something here. We realized that we had a possible business when friends and family still kept buying the peppers long after Carson had returned from New York and Washington, D.C. We get quite the return business because actually our product delivers the exact amount of heat and sweet. This is my go-to product for all of my appetizers or potlucks. Anything I need to take an appetizer to, I put it on a little, like a Tostito scoop, and then a little bit of cream cheese and a jalapeno, and it's the most requested. It goes super quick. We're at Sonnenberg's Meat Market Deli and Grocery Store. They were our first wholesale account. They carry the peppers and the marinade, and the great thing about it is that it's small business supporting small business. What makes B&G Sweet Heat Peppers and Marinade a specialty product is that we use all natural ingredients. We start with fresh peppers, topped and sliced just prior to processing. Our small batch processing ensures superior quality and flavor. making the slider with all of this pulled pork. You could also use it for a pizza. Would make a great barbecued pizza with a little bit of Gouda cheese. You could use it as a quesadilla. You could throw it on some nachos. You could also use it for enchiladas or street tacos. So this is firecracker shrimp. Normally we skewer this up and we throw it on a charcoal grill or gas grill. We're gonna throw these babies right in a cast iron pan, get it nice and hot. As a self-taught chef, one of my favorite features of the peppers and marinade are their versatility. As you're only limited by your own creativity and willingness to experiment with them in many culinary dishes. Well, the thing I really appreciated it was I wasn't sure what I was gonna get for flavor, but then I got this burst of sweetness and then the pepper came through, and man, what a surprise. It was delicious. I would have it over anything else I've had. The first time I came across the B&G sweet heat peppers, my sister gave them to me as a Christmas present. I opened one and I tasted it. And the very first thing that I came across was that it hit all the three spots in my tongue. The sweet, the salty, and the heat. And it was perfect. All right, that's great. Hi, my name is Hugh Woods and I'm from Spokane, Washington. I am the owner of the What's Cooking Grill. It's a uh, mobile food truck and we use their peppers uh, on numerous items in our trailer. They are fantastic on a baked potato, butter, sour cream, cheese, jalapenos. Simply amazing. So we worked with B and G Sweet Peppers for about three years now. We've supplied their jalapenos on a weekly basis. In the summertime, we're local, uh, out of Wenatchee area, Walla Walla. We've enjoyed the relationship that we've had with them. 
It's been great for us and them. I love the product. I actually get one every Christmas as well as every couple of months. I put it on a product that I like, pork sandwiches and eggs. And uh, it's been a good, good relationship. We're headed off to Trail Break to meet with Trent. He owns a cider house and they serve kibasas. He reached out to us to use the peppers as a relish and we're gonna be visiting with him and talking about how they make the relish and how they use it and visiting his new restaurant. I met Bob and Gail a couple years ago at the Perry Street Farmer's Market and they had the wonderful idea, brilliant idea, to have their peppers turned into a relish. And so we in-house take their peppers, the jar of peppers, we blend it, we put it in a squeeze bottle, and people use it just like they would a, a regular relish. And in our case, it works great. We've recently combined our wholesale business with a new restaurant. Uh, we're a local company. We make stuff from scratch with, with apples. In this case, it's great to partner with people who do the same thing with other foods. And for us, it's been a, a great partnership. You gotta love the B&G Sweet Heat Peppers. Cheers! <laughs> So we have the 2,000 square foot processing facility. 1,100 square feet of it will be framed for a new kitchen, and that'll be production. 900 square feet of it will be warehouse space. We financed this out of our pocket, and we plan to have this finished by May of 2020. Today we're at the Spokane Valley Winco. I just checked on product and made sure the inventory levels were good and the product was faced. Winco approached us in 2018 and asked us to be one of three product lines that they were gonna carry featuring local small businesses, at which time we went into the two Spokane locations and one in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. In 2019, we added Richland and Moses Lake. Today we're at Yokes in Post Falls, Idaho. We're gonna be checking on our display rack. The opportunity to sell the peppers in Yolks came as a request from a farmer's market customer in 2017 and since then we've added eight more stores. Yolks is wonderful to work with as they allow us to do sampling events in their stores. We self-distribute to 26 stores already and we have the ability to grow. We came across these B&G peppers and found that the versatility that we had with them and they really work wonders in pretty much every dish that we've ever tried them with. And what do you got there? I've got a uh, pulled pork slider here with a little bit of coleslaw made with a B&G marinade. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to eat it. Well, let me see okay. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Oh, 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 oh,